So today guys, we're gonna be showing you guys a build that a lot of you guys are going to enjoy if you want something that does everything for you, right? So in this video, you'll see this build does pretty much everything for you. All you have to do is sit back, relax, and let it work. Now, if you wanna gain a little bit more damage, well, then you can do it. So what we're gonna do is if I hit this guy right here, we're definitely gonna be gaining more damage. Or if I use this weapon right here, we're definitely gonna be more damage. So pretty much, this is what I mean. It can do everything for you. Just sit back and just let the skills work, right? And if you're looking for a build like this that can just, you don't have to do nothing. You go grab some coffee, grab a beer, whatever you guys want. Well, this is the build for you guys. Now, one thing I will tell you is if you want to keep those stacks up, you might want to refresh them every now and then, build a little bit, and then obviously the builds are going to hit that much harder. So it really just depends on what do you prefer. And then you can just sit back, relax, and let it do it. Now, if you guys like those run and gun builds, well, this one won't be for you. But if you're looking for a skill build that's going to literally take out heroic control points with ease, allow you to farm pretty easy. Well, I, I, this one's it, man. I'm telling you. So we're just going to just let it do all the work. And there you go, again and again. And then the boss is about to come out now. So hopefully he comes down this ramp so we can finish him off. He's almost dead, there you go. So the boss should be coming out right here. And then the, he's gonna jump through that window. Come on, right there. We'll have him. There's no buffs you have to pick up. You just literally let your skills do all the damage. If you guys want to use the exotic capacitor, you guys can. Now you guys can run whatever weapon you want. Uh, I'm showing you, I'm actually literally showing you two weapons. You have the capacitor on one end, and then you even have the test subject. Remember the capacitor, when you get build that 40 stack, it's actually really good. You can sit back, let the skills do the work. Now, if you want to use a test subject, well, you can do that too. Do the two, boom, and so. And then once your skills go on cooldown, you should have it set up so you get the skills back pretty quick. And you just pop it up. And then obviously, it's gonna do the rest of it. So you're literally seeing this thing pretty much do everything for me. I use a little bit of the capacitor or you guys really want you guys can use the test subject and the test subject is going to give you that 40 percent extra skill damage and then obviously the capacitor um based on your yellow course so and we're just going to hit this pop this up look how fast that one came back so Really up to you guys. And then if you guys want to have um, the directive on where you only have pistol, well then you can just put something with in sync on your pistol. And just hit them like this. Really, really a lot of different ways you guys can run this to be honest. So it's, it's up to you. And we're just gonna finish this off. Look how fa fast we, we do this. And it was about four minutes for this control point. You, obviously you could do this a little bit faster if you have a good running gun build. Um, but you saw I was able just to able to let it do its work. And that's it. That's going to be the last one. That's it, guys. Super easy. Very easy build to run. And if you guys want to see how this build is, well... Let's dive into it. So like I said, you guys can run whatever you want. If you want to run the test subject, remember the test subject is going to give you that 40% skill damage as long as you're hitting the target at the same time as your skill with your weapon. Or you can run the capacitor based on your yellow core. You get 7.5% um, weapon damage per yellow skill tier. So really up to you on what you guys want to run with this build. Either one is good. And just like I said, if you run the pistol, you can also just put something with it in sync and then you'll gain 30% skill damage as long as you're hitting them at the same time as your skills, right? So just something for you guys to keep in mind. You can run a lot of different ones. 
Now for the mask, we're running a one piece wyvern wear, so we're gonna get that 10% skill damage. We have skill tier, skill damage, skill haste, and skill haste mod. Now for the chest piece, we are running the Empress International. That's gonna, we actually have a three piece. So we're gonna get skill health, skill damage, and skill efficiency. Obviously that gives us skill haste, skill damage, skill stati wait, status effects, and all the other goodies. But we're really focused on that extra skill damage we're getting from this and that skill haste. We have skill tier on here. We have skill damage, skill haste, and a skill duration mod. Obviously we're running Kinetic Momento. If you want a build that you can just sit back and relax, Kinetic Momento is gonna be that and it hits very hard because remember, stacks increase your total skill damage by 1% up to 15 stacks per skill. So that's 15% extra skill damage per skill. So pretty cool for you guys to know right there. We go down, we're running the Waveform Holster, probably one of the best exotic skill damage holsters in the game. We have skill tier, skill damage, skill haste rolled on there. And then obviously it says, generate a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every second, capping at 10 stacks. So that means one skill can have an additional 30% skill damage at one time so that's pretty cool and then, and then it just goes back and forth back and forth so uh, definitely really cool to see how your skills gain that extra damage and you can definitely see the high damage numbers now i did go with a different piece you typically don't see i went with the bellstone armory this gives us one percent armor region it has an armor row has armor region it has skill damage well, the good thing is we are running technician class, so we're gonna have the extra skill tier, so we can actually roll one core attribute to whatever we want. Decided to put some armors, and that puts us at 910,000 armor, so we have armor region and skill damage on here. The only other piece I would say you could probably use if you could find one, if you look at this one, it's a more common, it's the Emperor's Guard, so it has 20% skill duration, so ideally you could run that. You could still get the 1% armor region because it's rolled on there, and then you could roll skill damage. So if you have this Emperor's Guard, Maybe that you could run. Um, you will lose the extra armor region you get because we have that armor region rolled right here. But ideally, um, that would be a little bit better so your skills last a little bit longer. So that could be a really good piece if you have that Emperor's Guard rolled like that. That's definitely a tough piece to get rolled like that. But if you can, there you guys go. And then you can have armor armor regen and skill damage would be kind of cool. For the gloves, we have our second piece of Empress International with skill haste, skill damage, and skill tier. And then our third and final piece of Empress International is the backpack as skill tier, skill damage, skill haste, skill haste mod, and then it has tech support, skill kills, increase total skill damage by 25% for 20 seconds. Again, I can just sit back if I don't want to have the shooting thing, let tech support kick off once I get that one kill, and then I'm already getting that extra 25% skill damage. So a lot of different skill damage buffs on here, right? Because we have Kinetic Momento, we have the Exotic Holster, the Waveform, and then we have Tech Support. So all these are getting us a lot of damage without me even having to shoot my gun. Now on top of that, you can either get the Capacitor's buff or you get Tech Support from um, so Perfectly In Sync, or if you don't even have that, you can just run regular In Sync for 30%. So a lot of buffs you get that you see once the game's going on. If you look at the base on this assault turret, we have 141,000 damage. Then if you look at the striker drone, we have 83,000 damage. So a lot of damage there, and that is not including all the buffs I'm getting from Connect Momento, um, away from Holster, or Tech Support. So just something for you guys to keep in mind. This build is definitely one of those builds that will do everything for you. Like I said, you just sit back, enjoy the ride and have fun with it one piece i would upgrade if you if you can find it is this emperor's guard with that skill damage and i that that would just allow your skills to last a little bit longer as you can see currently my duration on this is two 270 seconds and then on this one it yeah the both of my 270 seconds now if i were to if i were able to get that more kami you can see that it's gonna gain, it's gonna go up 309 seconds on both of them. So just something for you guys to keep in mind, if you guys can find that, makes it last a little bit longer and definitely um, the damage, you're not, the damage is gonna be the same, just the armor regen is gonna go down a little bit, but you get a little bit more screw duration. So really up to you, definitely um, a lot of different ways you guys can run this, but yeah, right here, the build that does it all. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hey, nothing but because I'll take these everybody. Mm -hmm.